Hi, today I want to uh, go through how I play the tune called Wagoner, which used to be called Wagner. Wagner, name of a 19th century racehorse. But the title over the years became Tennessee Wagoner and Georgia Wagoner and Texas Wagoner and Northeast South Northwest Texas Wagoner and all these different things. I call it Wagoner because everyone else does. And uh, usually it's a two piece, a two part tune. Um, I like the Skillet Liquors second part, which I use as a third part or something similar. Uh, so I'll go over all three parts. One thing I've noticed is that every fiddle player, every guitar player, every mandolin player who plays Wagner plays it in a different way, strikingly different. And yet it's always recognizable in its general shape as being a Wagoner. So let's get right on it in the key of C. There's two lead-ins and then it goes Sometimes you'll hear, I reserve that for other parts. I, I prefer the AG. Now, we can go down, up, down, up, down. We can also get it here. We can also leave out the middle down, down, up, up, down, down, up up, down. This suggests the, the uh, old-time fiddle way of bowing where you'd go down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I do it both ways. Usually I, I don't leave anything out. Then there's an, an open G and an ascending run which the old time players played like this. An F sharp. Sometimes you'll hear this, especially from people who learned it from tab. To me, that doesn't sound right. And it's more exciting to have that sharp four. One, two, three, four and then land here. And then it descends. And then we have a kind of mirror image on a G chord. Again, we have a choice. Chord. And I prefer that one. just like the first line. Then the last line, there's so many ways. One is another one is sorry I find that quite a challenging stretch. So I'd rather do it up here. Now, the ya da 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 da, I could start with an open E string. Or I could go. But there's an easier way. See? part of a C chord in an E shape. Then there's another way we could do this, and I sometimes do it for variety, 
where the way I just showed you has a combination of long and short notes. It has some spaces. <laughs> But we could go diddle diddle yappa diddle do 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 diddle da di diddle da di da 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 this G without actually touching the bass string. Second part. This is where it's really different from fiddler to fiddler or guitar player to guitar player or any xylophone players who might be playing Wagner. Instead of, I usually go. could repeat that or here's a nice variation and notice since I'm fingering it like this and not like that this also looks like the C shape or an F shape I mean, uh, the G shape, E shape, F, G. Ignore what I said, just look at my fingers, you'll see what I'm doing. I wasn't babbling. You need to see my right hand, yeah. That's nice. Or, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Instead of, we'll go G, F, E.
Oh yeah, third part. good nerve with the flat pick which I like 